What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the nice and kind messages that you guys sent me yesterday for today, yesterday's video. I really appreciate it, it does a lot to me, like a lot, so thank you. Two things I wanna make this video because, one, the giveaway on Instagram is now live. I'm giving away three Gymshock outfits and three personal training packages for me. So what you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the picture, it's quite easy. Follow me on Instagram, which you already are doing. You know, so that's not hard. And follow Gymshark because they all hooked it up. Follow Gymshark on Instagram. And then tag three friends of who you want to win uh, a Gymshark outfit. So it's pretty easy. Like the picture, follow me, follow Instagram, and then tag three friends on the picture down below. In the comments, make sure to add them uh, so you have a chance of winning one of the six prizes, which is really, really awesome. Now, I wanna go over a shoulder workout that I did two days ago. It was supposed to go up yesterday, but it sucked. I decided to upload it today because I feel like, you know, um, just making a video on a giveaway is kind of whack. So, uh, we're gonna be watching a shoulder workout. I'll be talking in a commentary so and please enjoy. Uh, the workout will also be in the description. Again, first link in the description will be the Instagram giveaway. So, first of all, go to my Instagram, double tap that, follow me, follow Gymshark, and then comment three of your friends who you would like to win a full Gymshark outfit or a personal training package, whatever the case may be. So, um, yeah, enjoy the workout. Alright guys, pretty quick and standard workout here. Uh, this is an all dumbbell shoulder workout, so if you only have dumbbells at home, for example, this is the right exercise or right workout to do for shoulders. First for warm-up, we do some rotator cuffs. We have a little bit of a PC, PVC pipe. We do some rotations with that to get our shoulders warmed up. And then we get our dumbbells and do some external rotations, upside and sideways. Um, and then I do a very low weight um, side races just to warm up that list last um, you know part of the shoulder get some blood flow get some blood in there also front raises side raises and then um, some around the world raises I'm thinking I'm gonna call them uh, then for the first exercise we have uh, the seated dumbbell press shoulder press uh, this is a very nice exercise I do four sets of eight repetitions uh, with one set weight. Uh, obviously build up and warm up to that set weight uh, so you don't go into that weight immediately super heavy um, because you still need to warm up your muscles even more uh, than you already did now. Then the next exercise, uh, oh this is still the same exercise, damn. Uh, this is a little bit more zoomed in. Uh, as you can see, it's very slow and controlled. There's no need to go f uh, much lower than this. Uh, I always have my elbows, the you know, Pretty much my arms are like 90 degrees when I uh, push up, so there's no need to go super, super low with this. Uh, it's better if you go, um, you keep the tension on the muscle um, like that. Then we have a side race. Uh, we do three drop sets with this. So the first uh, drop set is going to be eight reps, second one, eight reps too, uh, and the third one, eight reps as well. Um, very heavy, very tough. I like to do um, high repetitions with my shoulder raises. Uh, because I feel like it burns really well and it's work it's worked for me in the past so uh, that's why I kind of stay doing it the last one is more of a hold not much of a raise and you hold it as long as you possibly can so you go to oops, complete failure which is really painful and which really sucks but um, it's very very good for the burn and then we do some front raises where you can do either hammer grip as you can see me do here or you can do more neutral grip like me doing right here so as you can see the you know the dumbbell is um, point it the other way around it's either horizontal or vertical um, and with the last one it's more of a like I'm not sure how to call these it's like a front raise to like a side thing uh, really really heavy really really tough so if you never tried that out before definitely definitely try that one out the last one is a um, rear delt race and now the key with rear delt raises is we don't want to hit our back we just want to hit the back side of our shoulder and we do that by taking a very very light weight and flying our elbows all the way out uh, that way you really concentrate and focus on the rear delt which feels really really good um, I think I did the front and the side uh, also three sets of eight with obviously three drop sets so that's a lot and then this last one is like five sets of 12 uh, because it's a little bit of a light, lower weight smaller muscle so we can do a little bit more reps with that um, but I don't recommend going too heavy with this uh, immediately obviously you can go heavier as, as time goes by but um, yeah great exercise I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to enter the giveaway guys <laughs> 